Hello friends, this is Shivam and you are watching the third tutorial of the data analysis using Python series. In this tutorial, we will explore the, the very common and widely used library called Pandas. And Pandas is very powerful and very easy to use library for data analysis. It has mainly two objects in it to represent the data. It is a it has series format and it has the data format the data frame format so we will be using pandas so let's start it and first of all we need to import we need to import the import the the libraries import the required libraries we will be importing the pandas the pandas as pd we will be importing the the numpy numpy as np we will be importing matplotlib import matplotlib to pyplot as plt so these are the libraries that we will be requ we will be requiring and we have imported these all so let's hit enter and the first thing is uh, the first thing in pandas that we that we have seen that it operates the data it represents the data in two formats the one is the series format and the second is data frame format so first of all we will see what are the series format in pandas so pd dot series and uh, we will define it using this and we need to give the command a 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 so we have created a series and we will hit the enter first of all we will also declare it so this is the series that we have created x is sorry x is not defined we need to to define it and then so this is the series that we have defined in it and we can also perform the basic operations we can also perform the basic operations on the series like uh, we will add the the any variable that we want to the series we can do this by the following simple mathematical tasks so pandas is really very powerful and uh, we can also do other applications other other things like we can we can um, we can again try manipulate it it's like we have done it and uh, we will just add the 100 to it let, let us add 100 to it let's see and that's that's it so we can perform the any kind of operation simply by defining those operations on on the pandas data frames or data or series so let us see that how many of the elements are greater than 2 in x so this can be done by the following command so x is greater than 2 so let's check it and you can see that for uh, uh, the first two elements are not greater than 2 but the third fourth and fifth element are greater than 2 so uh, now we will use the apply command the apply command which is also very powerful operation in pandas so in apply operation we will define a kind of a function so let us define a function so let us define a function f of x f of x and uh, what this function will do is return a zero return a zero let's say if x mode 2 is equal to 0 then return return x 
into two else else return return x into three so this is the function that we have built and let us apply let us use the apply operation on x so this is very powerful so let us use the apply function and on x so you can see that you can see that all the data frame all the elements are changed according to the function by with the help we just have defined a function and we have just applied the function on the data on the on the panda series so this is the 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 simpli simplicity that that is used with with pandas and pandas are really very simple so now we will use the as type command as type command you can see now in as type command it uh, it shows the what are the data types what are the data types and uh, if we want to convert one data type into another data type so we can convert it using the function as type so we will use the x dot as type x dot as type np dot float np dot float we can we will be using the dot 64 yeah so we have used the numpy in it and you can see that we have converted all of these int numbers to float numbers with the help of dot as type command so now we have worked on the series panda series now we will define some data frame of pandas to define it we will use the data frame so now <clears throat> first of all we will be defining a data frame and which can be simply defined with the pd dot data frame command so pd dot data frame pd dot data frame and let us define let us first of all define a list first of all let us define a list consisting of 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 6 7 yeah now we will convert it into a data frame with the help of pd dot data frame command and it takes the data as the argument and we will we, we can also uh, provide the column names or just the columns as the columns is equal to and we need to put it in a square brackets and we can we see that we will we will just uh, name it as x so so we have defined a data frame a pandas data frame and now we will print this data frame so this is the data frame that we just created using the pandas and uh, you can select the 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 columns of pandas with the help of slicing that we also used in case of numpy arrays so we will perform some slicing over here and you can do it using the df x because the name of the column is x so you can use it and you can see that it has returned it has returned the output that is the all the values associated with the column x so if you want the if you want the the just the the very first element of this then you can do this by giving this uh, this command and you can see that the very first element is one and with the help of the following we have got the, the same answer now if you want to add the extra columns like if you want to add the extra the extra columns you can add it with the help of with the help of very simple commands and we will be doing this like uh, like we want a, an, an another column and another column in a data frame uh, which is to be called x plus x plus 2 and we have defined it and we will now assign some values to it 
we will define we will assign some values with the help of df um, x and then the plus sign and then two so we have created another column in the data frame the x plus two and now we will again see how our data looks like how our data frame looks like so now we have defined another column in it and it is called the x plus two and it is just the the addition of two in the x in the in the x column so again we can uh, we can we can also use the another function which is also very important or uh, pandas function it is the map function so we will be using it now so we will we will be using this function like we will define in another column like old even even and we will we will like uh, like we will define another let us see we will define is even we will uh, we will define another column in the data frame is even is even and we will use the map function again like is even if it mode mode two mode two is even mode two so we have defined in another column is even in our data frame and it is it has just returned it has just uh, returned the mode that is the remainder that that is the remainder that comes out when the number is divided by two so in the case of uh, three and in, in, in x plus two and one in x it is just returned one that is the remainder on it and uh, and we have, we have defined it now we will just uh, we will just uh, what we do what will we do we will define another column that is old even even with df with the now we will use the map function over here and uh, is even is even dot now we will see the basic map function for a dot map and it takes these arguments as now if there is one if there is one in is even in in is even column if there is one then it will show the old there and if it is zero over there then it will show even so we have created an another column old even in the data frame df and which will do a mapping over the column is even and if there is one then it will return old and if there is zero it will return even so we have created another column using the map function and let us again see our data frame so this is it this is the data looks now so the, the number is one that is old and it is again showing that it is old it is uh, it is two it is even so so this is the map function this is we have used the map function now we see that we have created this this one this one column over here is even is even we can remove it because is even it is showing us that is is even is even one on one that is it should have shown zero but it's our mistake so we can drop this column we can drop this column by using the drop command by using the the drop command using the drop command so now now we can use the drop command as as following df dot uh, drop and give the column name is even is uh, is even and you just need to drop it all so we have now we will check the data frame again and now you can see that we have dropped the column we have just two columns left over that we created out of three and we have the x plus two and odd even column so now our data looks like this and we can again perform some operations on it 
like uh, we can use the apply function over again, uh, again that we that we see that we have seen earlier so let us define one more variable one more column to the data frame that is x square x square df x square and it is equal to df column x and to the power 2 sorry to the power 2 so we have defined one another column and see that the data is now this we have just done the square of the x column and obtained the another column x square so now we can we want to again add one more data frame let's say x factorial and we will use the apply function on it we will use the apply function x factorial x factorial factorial is equal to df df on column x and we will use the apply function for apply and np dot math what we have used is we have used numpy over here and we are using the basic maths function of numpy and we will use the np dot math dot these are the various functions that you can that you can put over there you can you have like you want to create x factorial you can choose any of these any of these and like you want to create cos hyperbolic cos function or exponential function error frequency whatever it is exponential so these are the various function that np comes within so we want to use here the factorial one we will use the np.math.factorial and we will give the x value to it we will no 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 we just want to use the apply np uh, np dot math dot factorial let's see if it works yes it works so now we will again examine the data frame and you can see that here we have all of the the columns that we have uh, that we have built it is showing us we have the x column with which we started then we have the x plus 2 we have the odd even column we have the x square column and now we just created an x factorial x factorial column using the numpy so these are the the various options operations that we are operating on the operating on the the pandas data frame now let us uh, let us see the uh, the one more important operation on pandas that is filtering so we will be using the filtering operation because whenever our, our data set is uh, very large then you need to apply filtering on it to carry out the useful data from a large amount of data so to do this to do this like just we want to we want to just uh, uh, filter out only those those entries or those rows from a data set which are only old so we can do this by the following command just df we need to put the double presses inside and we will just df df odd even it will just odd even odd even odd even is equal to double is equal to actually double is equal to odd so this is the use of filtering in in data analysis in bandas like you have just filtered only those entries which only contains the odd numbers or the odd x values so so if you want to use it again for the even value you can do this like df like df and you want this time the even one so we will have to okay old even is equal to even so we have now filtered the even values from our data frame so this is the use of filtering in in pandas data frame and uh, now we will just try to do some kind of plotting with the help of pandas so let us try to plot a scatter plot a scatter plot using using the using this the pandas 
so we will be using the pd dot scatter matrix command so let us now pd dot dot scatter matrix dot scatter matrix and on the data frame df and uh, we want the figure size we can define the figure size as well fig size is equal to like we want it to be 10 in comma 10 10 comma 10 so let us see what happens let us see what happens and see the data that we can use we need to just put over one other command to the matplotlib command the matplotlib inline and only then we can see this thing over here yeah so we just uh, we just we last time we didn't get the the graphic output over here because we haven't told the environment that we want the output in the same line of the Jupiter in the in, in the same line and, and after we given this command we have just obtained the we have just obtained the scatter plot of the pandas data frame in the same line so you can see that you can see that these are the various uh, columns of the data frame df and these are the uh, the on the x axis as well as on the y axis and it is showing us a scatter matrix so so these are the tasks that you can also perform with the help of pandas and uh, and let us now use some summary statistics of the panda. So if we want to get the summary statistics for the data frame, we can use it with df dot describe command. We can use it with the help of df dot describe command. It, it, it generates the summary statistics for the data frame. And when you enter, you can see that you have the following columns and you have the various summary statistics. Like we have for the x, we have the number of counts, 7, 7 for all. We have the mean, we have the standard deviation, we have the minimum, we have the 25 percentile, we have the 50 percent, we have the 75 percent, and we have the maximum. So these are the summary statistics for the data frame for all the columns that we have. <coughs> now, now we can, you no know, pandas is also used for reading the data from a CSV or TSV file. So we will just see how we can read the data read the data from CSV file so now for this we have to just import the OS OS import the OS library and we just need to check the present we need to check the work directory current work directory we can change the work directory with the help of os.changeDir command os.changeDir and uh, see I will define the path I will define the path to the, the CSV file that I want to just import so we can do this by C users shivam desktop and we have just defined the directory and uh, and now we will just uh, we will just load the iris data set iris data iris data iris data and uh, to load it we need the pd dot read CSV. So you can see that there are various options of reading the files. You can read the CSV file, you can read the Excel file, you can read the HTML file, JSON file, pickle file, SQL file. You can you can read the table, read table. So there are various options of reading any kind of different kind of files using the pandas. And so we will be using the CSV command. So now we want to you load the iris data set it is present over my desktop and i will load it using the pandas so iris.csv 
so we I have just loaded the iris data set let us now see how it looks and uh, you can see that iris data so this is the iris data and you can see that there are the the various columns over here we have the petal length we have the sepal length petal width sepal width and the different species of the flowers so this is the iris data very commonly used data and uh, you can load it with the help of pandas and you can see that there are various 149 rows into five columns there are so you can you can again use the you can again use the the summary statistics that is iris oh shit iris data dot describe to describe now you can see that these are the various summary statistics for the the iris data set like we have the four columns the four this only the sum the describe of the describe command only just gives us the summary statistics only for the continuous variable like it has skipped the fourth variable because it is a, it is a categorical variable so it has given the summary statistics for the four variables petal length sepal length petal width sepal width and these are the various statistic variables like count mean standard deviation maximum minimum etc now to load the data to load the data from the uh, from the http or int internet you can also use the the pd dot read csv command like i will just give uh, an http or 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 a link to the internet and it will just load the data from that source so let us use the again pd dot pd dot read csv and i will just provide it the link of that source like http and bit bit dot ly and i am db bit dot ly just bit dot ly am db ratings readings it might take some time it might take some time because we will be reading the data from the internet source from this link no it, it hasn't take that much time the data if it it would have been a large data set then it would have taken a long time now let's try to see what it is there in the data so okay this is the data frame this is the data frame we have the we have the following number of observations we have around 979 rows and six columns are there and this is the movies and their rating their genre the duration and the actors list so you can see there are six columns one uh, 979 i think the 979 rows six columns and the various movies are there the various uh, genre their genre and their star rating and uh, the actors list so these are the various uh, things that we can do with the help of pandas so this was the basic tutorial for pandas in the in the next tutorial we will just do the advanced functions with pandas so i hope you like this tutorial and please like and subscribe the channel and thanks for watching